Hello, Stacking Ohana. This is Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to the channel. And today, we have hit 559 subscribers. Can we get to 600 before the end of the year? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. But today, we are doing the December Pour, the Silver Soldier of Fortune Challenge, Pour Challenge, Monthly Pour Challenge, and I've got two for you today. I've got a little bit of channel mail, not too much. Uh, I've also got some auctions that I won, so I'm going to show off a couple things from the auctions, just two things. And I got a trade that I did with Pirate Stacker, and you ain't going to want to miss that. That is super cool. And I got coffee. Somebody sent me coffee, so I'll be showing that off. First, I'll do the channel mail, and then we'll move on to the... I'll show you the coffee, because it smells... Oh, man. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let me move all this stuff off the table, and we'll get started. All right, coming first, we have this, and this is from... Well, I don't know. Let's see who it's from. Silver Steeler. So let's uh, see what we got here. So he sent two stickers and winning image photography. So I believe that's his wife. I think his wife does the imaging photography. And uh, so he sent me a couple of cool stickers. Thank you very much, Silver Steeler. And uh, let's see what it says. Excuse the cat hair under the tape. It gets everywhere gift for you. Okay, cool. Aloha Stacker. Hello, my friend, or should I say Aloha? I would love to visit your state one day. I only have four states left that I have that I have visited, and I've visited all 50. Oh, you know, that's kind of cool because I actually only have two states that I've never been to. And that is Vermont and New Hampshire. I've been to every other state in the United States myself. So good luck to you. Good luck to me. Maybe we'll make this, make that happen. You run a very nice channel, and I see a lot of growth in your future. Keep doing what you do. Happy holidays, your friends, Silver Steeler, and Winning Image Photography. And uh, it looks like we got ourselves a dime. So let's bust this out, hopefully without damaging the card. A little bit of damage, but that's okay. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a Mercury Dime. Let's go ahead and bust that open and take a look and see how neat that is. Mercury Dimes are an awesome coin. So let's see what we got. We got ourselves a 1943. Any mint mark? No, no mint mark. Remember, mint marks on the mercs are down here right where my nails to touching. So, pretty cool. Thank you very much, Silver Steeler. That is an awesome gift. We're going to go ahead and move on to the Independent Experience. Welcome back to the Independent Experience. Now, if, those of you who don't know who NDXP is, he does a morning show, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, he does, he goes over, you know, the metal cost and usually brings up an article or two of some big news in the, in the, that affects us in the stacking and collecting community. So thank you. Oh, cool. He's got some, look at these cool stickers. Silver, gold, market reviews, and pay dirt. Never, no, I've never seen him do anything with the pay dirt, but I've definitely watched his videos in the morning. So what do we got? Oh, look, a couple grams of silver. Thank you, my friend. Aloha Stacker, greetings from Flyover Country on the mainland. Thank you for supporting my channel, and please enjoy these stickers and silver. Keep on stacking, NDXP Bullion. Well, that is very, very nice of you, so it looks like we've got a couple grams of silver. Thank you very much, my friend. I really, really, really enjoy your channel. It is fantastic. I enjoy the morning updates. Uh, you know who else I really enjoy? Silver 5150's updates. He's been out of, He's been out for a while, taking a break, but I hope he comes back soon because I really want to see, because between his updates in the morning... And silver 5150, I get it all. All right, moving on. Uh, I'm going to cover up this a little bit, but it looks like we got a letter from the United Kingdom. Here, let me check this out. Check out that stamp. Very cool. It's Royal Mint, Swindon, by airmail. So uh, that's very, very neat. So who do we know in the UK? That's a big part of our community. Now I have, let's see what we got here. We have ourselves Coin World UK. Subscribe, thank you for your support and kindness you have shown me. Tool Hall Stack here, thank you so much for your support. An honor to call you a friend, Dale. Awesome. Coin World UK, it's a pretty neat channel. He has, does a lot of videos. He does some type of uh, battle thing. Uh, I've actually never been able to catch it because it always comes on during my work day. But I have, uh, but I do watch his other videos and he puts out a lot of cool content. So he sent me a couple stickers. These will enter the board. And I still need to show everybody the board one of these days, but I will do it, I promise. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead. Oh no, hold on, let's, let's do let's show off some coffee. So I got a really cool package in the mail from Mama Lynn Private Label Medium Roast Coffee from the area 
of the state of Washington. I'm guessing that's in the Puget Sound, yeah, because of Puget Sound Coffee Roasters in Polesbow, Washington. And this stuff, let me tell you, mm, it, oh, it just smells phenomenal. And he sent me not just one awesome bag of coffee, but I got two medium roast bags of coffee. I've got enough coffee to last me a long, long time. In fact, sorry, Kilo, you're getting covered with coffee today. So everybody can see how awesome that is. So thank you very much, Mama Lynn. I really appreciate that. It's super cool. Uh, and I, I, there's not much else I could say about that. It's just so awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and move on and show off the December pours. So that's next. So I'm gonna. So I actually got two. So I'm gonna start with the one that just came in the mail a couple days ago. I wasn't actually planning on showing off two, but uh, oops, I just dropped that one. So this one. So this one was kind of a surprise and unexpected uh, purchase. And uh, so let me see uh, what we got here. So this came from an auction that was hosted by the Mad Stacker and Silver Vikings. So look at that sticker. That is an awesome sticker. Silver Vikings number twenty-two. How did you know that was my number? I love that number. That's my favorite number. Way to go. I guess I just got lucky on that one. So it comes in this really cool black bag. So let's see what I got from his auction. Okay, there's the black bag. I got myself this neat boar. 99 fine silver, a V for the silver Viking. Not 100% sure. Oh, this is one Troy ounce. And we got ourselves a 2020 COVID-19 mask. So... There it is. Very cool. Look at the Tony and color on that. That is just that is just phenomenal. Let's see, so this is uh, one pour that I'll use for the month of December. Uh, it's not my highlighted pour because it wasn't my original plan, but because it came in the mail right at the right time, we're going to use it. And it can uh, silver Viking sent a certificate of authenticity. It's actually one point eight troy ounces of ninety nine silver and tinked COVID number five. So I was able to pick that up at his auction for a pretty decent price, and so uh, no complaints here. Now. For my, for my original December pour, I got something from Merce Metals. And if you don't know Merce Metals, he's got a small YouTube channel, but he's got an even bigger Instagram channel, and he's been doing all kinds of amazing pours lately. So as I, let me bust this open. Okay, so. First, I'm going to show you, what does this say? This card certifies that the artwork is authentic, created by Merce Metals. It is number one, 2.6 troy ounces, called The Grinch. You guys have no idea how cool this is going to be. I'm going to bust it up from the back first. So here's the back. Man, you can't tell much, right? But wait till you see the front. Check that out. Check this out. That is the Grinch that stole Christmas. Now, Merce poured this and his wife painted it. So thank you very much. This is, this is just a phenomenal pour. I saw this and I just knew I had to have it. I haven't seen him make anymore. I don't know. This might be the only one that exists. And if it is, well, I'm a very lucky person because now I get to put this under my Christmas tree. Actually, I'll probably move it over. Sorry, Will, for, uh, your, your copper will probably get moved now and the Grinch will take your take its place because I always put the newest pour right there. So uh, that is awesome. So very cool, 2.6 ounces. That is phenomenal. So we'll go ahead and put that down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on from the pours. Oh, and by the way, the pours, I don't know if you all know, but uh, I know Pirate Stacker's doing it, Silver Soldier of Fortune's doing it, and uh, and so is Patriot Stacker. And I don't know who else is, I know there's a couple, I think there's a couple more, but I don't know. I'll try to get the, I'll try to find out who. I'll, I'll send uh, Silver Soldier, Soldier of Fortune a, a message and I'll ask. So we'll go ahead and move on to some auction wins next. And uh, first one was from uh, Silver Husky. So let me get that out of the bag. So. Our friend Silver Husky, I won uh, I won a very cool coin off his auction. So I got myself a 2013 Australia one ounce ra uh, coin, and this is going to be the year of the snake. So the scratches are on the case, not on the coin, but uh, that is pretty neat. I think, believe that is my first coin that I have that has a snake on it, so that's pretty cool. So thank you Silver Husky for that. All right, auction number two right here came from the Stacking Stormtrooper. And this is gonna be cool because he sent me all kinds of swag with this. So first I'll show you, uh, let's see, let me organize this since there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, so, you know, he sends his standard uh, Stormtrooper uh, card. He says, Aloha, Aloha, Stormy. 
dollar. <laughs> and he sent me, let's see, it looks like we got a dime here from 1947. So let's see if uh, we got a mint mark on that, just because we always like to know that. I do not see a mint mark, so it looks like we have a solid 1947. Thank you very much, Stormy. That's pretty neat. Uh, he sent me his updated, uh, or he's got his business card, and he does his auctions. I think he just had his auction tonight, So, but it was off day. I think he normally does his auctions on Tuesdays, I want to say. Tuesdays or Wednesdays, not 100%. I can't remember off the top of my head. He sent me his most updated garbage pail kids, Stormy Weather. And then it's got the details on the back. Uh, Storm Pooper. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, and then I, and then he also sent uh, Stacking Storm Trooper. So, very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Stormy. I'll add these to my uh, garbage pail stack. He also sent me a Stacking Shrimp. 99 Pure Art. 34 out of 50. Thank you, Stormy, for the sticker. I got a Strivian of Authenticity for the Shrimp 34 one out of 100. It looks like I've got myself something that he, uh, something unique to his channel. And there it is. I got the Stacking Shrimp coin. Let's go ahead and open this up and show it off. Since this is a challenge coin, I have no problem touching this with the bare hands and not a problem whatsoever. And we have ourselves some pure art from the Stacking Stormtrooper. We got Stacking Shrimp, 99 Pure Art, and on the... This side we have Tyranny 2020 in Stormy We Trust, number 34. So that is pretty cool. I like that. And it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, so cool. That's my first challenge coin that I've gotten from uh, from a channel. Okay, that's it for the auctions. Now let's move on to the highlight of the night is a trade I did with the famous Pirate Stacker. Now Pirate Stacker and I have started around the same time and... Uh, we become pretty good friends. We actually talk a lot, and we discuss things together. We come up with ideas together. We try to we try to coordinate stuff uh, the best we can together to try to help each other out. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and get rid of this box, uh, and we'll go ahead and start with. Uh, so I got one of his older stickers. He sent me a couple of his newer stickers, and. And to be honest, Pirate, you don't have to send me any more stickers. I've got all of these, and I've got lots and lots of them now. So I, I think in the future, save your stickers, send them to send them to the new uh, to the new friends and fans. But uh, basically, that's what we got. Yo, Aloha Stacker! Thanks for the trade, man. I hope you like your loot. Love the channel. Keep up the awesome content. Arg, Pirate Stacker. So, as you guys saw today in Pirate Stacker's video, I got him one of these. And the reason I got him one of these is because once I got this and saw it, I went, there's no way that I can have a pirate's chest this cool and my good buddy the pirate stacker doesn't have one. <laughs> Not with all these ships and, and all this cool stuff. So, and then you got the Kraken on top and everything. And obviously, you know, this is what I use for my $10 a week challenge, which is why it's not on the desk today. Instead, we have the poor challenge on the desk today. And we'll do something at the end that's kind of cool. This. So here is the trade. So let's see what our friend Mr. Pirate Stacker has given us. And then I will tell you what I traded him for what's in here. Uh, so we got ourselves a 1928 Peace Dollar as part of the trade. So that's cool. I got a really toned Morgan from 1921. And it looks pretty much like natural toning of some sort or darkening, which I can't complain about. I think it looks neat. I mean, I don't care. I don't care if it's toned. I love Morgans. I, we all know uh, the thick neck lady is a big fan favorite of many of us. Uh, another Morgan. He sent me an 1881 uh, O from New Orleans, and I'll put the and I'll make sure I'll make sure all the mintages are in the description, so you all can know how if any of these are rare or what you know just you know how many were made. 1901, also a New Orleans. So I got myself three Morgans and a peace dollar. I think that's it for that stuff. Okay, so there's one more thing, and that is a piece of gold. And. Uh, I don't know if you all remember a few videos back. I had an Indian head piece of gold. Take it out of this package. I had an Indian head, uh, two and a half dollar, and I asked everybody's opinion on whether I should get that graded or not. And a lot of people said yes, and some people said no. But after further research, uh, I decided against it uh, because I watched a video on some on somebody else's and how they were grading, and I decided that there's just a couple wear patterns in it that I don't like. And instead of getting you know sending it in for an AU55 or something, uh, if I can't get the MS, it was it's not worth it. But my good friend Pirate decided he would trade me his MS-61 from 1913, two and a half dollar. And this one is actually mint state rated. Let me see if, uh, let 
Let's see if I can increase the lighting here. Let's see if I can make this a little bit stronger so we can show this, this shiny, shiny piece of beauty. So there is the 1913. And you can tell how much better this is because right here, it's very detailed. And, and on mine, it was kind of worn. And then here, the same deal. The upper, the upper feathers here are in full detail as well as the breast feathers. This coin actually, to me, looks higher, that it's, that it's actually kind of low rated. It should actually be rated higher just based on what I'm seeing. But uh, there it is, uh, the Indian head piece of gold. And so this is what I traded for Pirate. This was the highlight along with the uh, Morgans and the piece. So that's a great trade. Uh, and for that, I sent, I gave him 20 ounces of silver, and uh, but I never gave it to him. I actually transferred it to somebody here locally on the island for a special project and for something extra special that, uh, that he is working on. So and that's something that's really cool. I'm not going to say what it is. That's going to be up to him to, to share that with everybody. And uh, so stand by for that. That's going to be pretty exciting. That's going to be pretty exciting news from our friend, the Pirate Stacker. So very neat stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and move our new pours to the pour box or in the old pours. And uh, let's go ahead and move this coffee off the table so everybody can enjoy the kilo. No. <laughs> uh, pistol packing pilot. Uh, I think you got to go somewhere, right? You got to take off somewhere. Oh, okay. You're going to Goldville and Silver City? Okay. Well, then we will see you on the next video. So let's get you out of here. <laughs> All right. So this is my poor box. Uh, I promise you, hopefully by in next month for January, it will be uh, decorated. This is just the way it kind of came. So what I'd like to do is actually paint it and put some designs on it. So my so Miss Aloha Stacker has, has got a plan. So hopefully that's going to be done. And these are all my pours. This is the whole pour collection right here. And so let's take our new stuff, if I can find it. So first, uh, if you remember, Will's Treasures sent me this really cool piece of copper, and it's a pour, so it's going in the box. And uh, let's see, where is... So we've got uh, our Silver Vikings round that's going to go in the box, and we're going to go ahead and close the box, and that's going to cover that down. And our friend Mr. Grinch, let's see if this will actually stand up here. And it will. So Mr. Grinch is now, and I'll move that somewhere probably underneath the tree. Oh, something else. I saw a lot of videos talk about uh, this Peanuts coin. And a lot of people seem to complain that there was no Snoopy or Woodstock, but there is actually both. Snoopy is right here on top of the 70. And on the back, Woodstock is actually here. I had to use a loop to see him, but he's sitting on top of the piano. And I think Schroeder's the piano player. But you can't, I mean, it's really hard to see. Like, it's so small. But that's Woodstock right there above the center of my finger. Uh, and if you use a loop and you have one of these coins, you can see them. You can see little Woodstock. So that's pretty cool. But that's what I got for you, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it. Lots of cool stuff. I had pours. I had trades. I had auctions. Uh, I got coffee. I mean, coffee. Come on, guys. Anyway, that's all I got. So until next time, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha and mahalo.